big way. I'm in one of the richest, most wealthiest places in the world, Santa Barbara, California. I'm downtown right now, um, and I'm just faced with tons and tons of space out of business. This is Nordstrom's, a massive three-story mega store, done, gone. And, um, you know, the thing is, is that what's more, you know, a lot of us might see these for rent signs and for lease signs all over the place. And we're just really, just at the beginning of what really is to come with what the pandemic did. Right now, what's clear is there's a bunch of places that are no longer in business. And, and what's more important than that is just seeing these signs in the windows. And what about all the employees? Where did they go? The people that owned these companies, what happened to them? There is a bunch of people potentially hurting right now. A lot of people are relying on unemployment benefits, eviction bans, and mortgage moratoriums that worked or were part of these big, big companies. So one of the things that we have to just be realist about is we are in big, big trouble potentially. I'm not guaranteeing that we're gonna see some kind of economic crash, but we have to understand it is very, very possible that we could see it. Right now is probably the most important time to have some cash reserves. Um, it's always a good idea to have cash reserves, but never better than there is now. Like I said, with modern technology, what if a cyber attack uh, occurred and shut down all of the banking systems. What would that do to your bank accounts? You'd basically freeze them. Your money could disappear overnight. And that's why it's such a good idea to have cash reserves um, as a backup. You should not have all your money in cash, but you definitely wanna have some of your money in cash. So with that being said, um, one of the things that we need to look at today is what's going on in not only the most wealthiest areas like the one I'm in now, but worldwide. If the Santa Barbara is suffering from this, can you imagine what's happening in other parts of the world? We're scheduled to be reopened right here in California. Other uh, countries are not. And so this is much more than one country. This is global. So come on, let's take a little walk around. This is called the Paseo Nuevo Mall. Thank you to all our loyal customers. We are now closed this is not good here's another retail space hot hot area sign off the sign post another big big store done let's keep going game stop If you're paying in cash, please keep in mind that we are currently facing a coin shortage. I don't think they're open. We all know about GameStop. I don't want to talk about the uh, stock market. This was another huge retail store called Banana Republic. Very high end, not even high end really, but you know, it's done. Mall, this is a beautiful summer day. Beautiful summer day, close. Look, I don't even think, four lease right here, done. Down here to get food, but I couldn't come down without bringing up this topic. Let's see how many others we can find. Here we go, closed. Richest mall in America. I'm gonna take you out to State Street, which has been closed down as well. And another one, Planet Beauty. Done. Sushi store right here. Closed. Another shop. I think it's just, it's more than 50%. It's probably like 75%. Shout out to California Pasta, they're open. That's where I'll be eating. All right. One of the hottest streets in Santa Barbara. 
it's nice out right now. There's no denying that. But, I mean, it's pretty quiet. Used to be able to drive down the street. They've completely shut it down. So that's just eliminating a huge amount of business and traffic um, that could be coming down here. So, you know, we've just stifled the economy by shutting it down, trying to regulate people to mask up and eat outside. Um, you know, how can any restaurant stay in business if they can't be at capacity? There's another one across the street done right in the highest rent district in America. Here's a jewelry store or art or something. <laughs> Nobody in there. I mean, the rents here have, are astronomical. This guy closed. All right, so anyway, folks, what I'm just saying is that you have to understand we are at the, really the beginning of potentially the end. And I'm not saying it's gonna happen. I'm, oh, I'm cheering for it not, but you can't just look at this stuff and be like, hmm, everything's great. So that's just a little sneak peek on what we're, going, what we're dealing with. So please, uh, Leave me a comment below. Let me know what your city's looking like. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. I'll try to get more updates as I kind of feel out what's going on exactly. And I hope you guys make it a great day. We will see you soon.